<laughs> What's good, YouTube? You back in the building with the all knowing, all loving, all feeling, all seeing, all powerful, just damn all everything. The sexy as hell host of the Life Games channel. This week, we're bringing you Stream It Live The Assassination of Giovanni Versace. And this was one of the best, well done documentary drama shows you're going to find about how Giovanni died. It should have been entitled after the guy that killed him because this guy was a pure nut. And when I'm talking about a nut, I ain't talking about a nut in the shell. I'm talking about one of them nuts that get loose on the screw of a car. If you're finding me for the first time, please go ahead, subscribe to this channel. Click the notification bell so you're down every time we drop Life Games videos. And why was this guy chasing him through the alley? I mean, why are you chasing the man that's got a gun? Turn your butt around and go back. Let's go ahead and jump into this video review so that you guys can understand why you need to be streaming this this weekend because it is pure entertainment. What's good, YouTube? You back in the building with your old Uncle Mont, and we're bringing you Life Games best streaming things to watch, best streaming live TV. And this might be one you missed. We're talking about the great FX series, American Crime, in particular, the assassination of Giovanni Versace. And it is a hell of a story, but let's first get into it. By putting on the plus seven glasses of cinema sexy as hell, because we're working on skilling up this craft, bringing you a better YouTube experience, something better to look at. Sponsor on this video, HDIP TV, Offering you everything you're seeing on the screen, sports, TV, all that, pay-per-views, $14 a month. Or you can do their best package, which is $35 for three months. Also, two-week diet down there for y'all trying to get in shape. Check it out. Some of y'all saw the American Crime Series with OJ, and it was great. Well, they did not hold back on doing the same rendition with the story of Versace. It's funny that they named it after Giovanni Versace, and I think they've done that because he's the most popular person on this name title. But as you go through this 10 part series, it's not just gonna cover Versace. Versace's the headlining name, that family's the headlining name, but what happens in the story is so much more dy dynamic than that. It should have been named after the guy that killed Versace. Yes, Versace's gonna die, most of y'all know he died in 1997. He got shot right in front of his Miami home. To this day, you can still go down to the home and see it. They're doing, it's turned into a bed and breakfast now. So I'll save you all the stuff they'll tell you in the series that goes on. But the guy who killed him is a gentleman named Andrew Cunanan. He was gay. Versace was gay. And during that era in the 90s, being gay wasn't quite that cool. Even though Versace was making it cool, and what this man did is probably the thing that solidified and the people who Hillary Clinton called deplorables, he solidified gay people probably in that ilk. Because not only did he kill Versace, but he befriended and basically dumped a war veteran, Navy, Navy SEAL dude, killed him. Then he went to Chicago and killed the rich, one of the richest men in the world at the time was an architect and a billionaire who never let his wife know that he was gay. He dated him for like a month or two. Gets to know him, comes up there, the man gives him money and all this kind of stuff. Then he just kills him, throws him in the, in the backyard. And it's a manhunt, ladies and gentlemen. So the storyline really follows Andrew Cunanan and all the crazy shit he was doing to all these gay men and his anger over Versace. So in this story, the cast is Darren Christ, Edgar R Ramirez, Penelope Cruz, she plays Versace's sister. You've got Ricky Martin, who plays Versace's boyfriend. So Andrew Cunanan was jealous of that person, and Andrew Cunanan was also jealous that Versace wouldn't really give him the time of that because Andrew Cunanan is exactly what we see in some forms of our president. One of the best salesmen to ever do it. Can sell water to a drowning man. Can sell fire to a man in the desert. Could sell an ant to an aardvark. 
this guy was planting these crazy seeds, these crazy stories to everybody, and they would believe it and ingratiate this boy into their family, into their beds, and he would wind up causing them tremendous damage. So if you are a great fan of documentaries, crime dramas, you're gonna love this series. It's gonna be grotesque. I'm gonna go ahead and forewarn you. Cause this boy, he killed these people in a violent manner because in his heart, he was taking it out on Versace. And in the end, he winds up getting Versace, but they kind of chronicle, they jump timelines in the story. So in the beginning, you're gonna see Versace get the bucket kick. Then they're gonna go back and forth through all these various people timelines as they meet Andrew Cunanan as he comes into their lives and as he destroys their lives and ultimately destroys them. But it's a great series. I mean, this is well done. We should not have expected anything less than being well done after the way they conducted themselves with doing the OJ Simpson story. And if you want some good binge watching this weekend, give this a try. American Crime Assassination Giovanni Versace. Take a look. And that's going to do it for this video. Don't forget to like my video, comment, and subscribe. Go get yourself a life game. Let me know if you've already seen this, how you feel about it, how you've been enjoying my Stream It Live TV series and what shows I should add to it to review that a lot of people might not know about. And until that next sexy as hell video, I'll see you.